Okay, next we need to go in and set up uh, our rules for the bridge because we need to bridge, as you saw in there before, you have the repeater and you have the master. Well, you have to bridge those two together to pass traffic because right now you can turn it on and it'll run and you can connect two hotspots to each other, but you will not be passing traffic to Brandmeister. So now we need to go in and set up our talk group rules to tell the bridge where you want to route everything. So let's go in and look at our rules here. Just do a quick directory. So if you see over here, rules to underscore sample dot py. We need to rename, well, we need to copy that. The reason we copied it instead of just renaming it is that way we always have that sample to go back and look at. So we're going to copy this file. We're already in the directory with it, so copy rules underscore sample dot py, and we want to make it rules dot py. Okay, now if we do another directory... Now you see rules.py. So we're going to use the nano command, nano rules.py. .py is for Python. So they give you a lot of good information up here on how to use timers and different custom functions. But right now I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to change these three that they have in here. This is more for a uh, reflector type setup but it will work for what we're doing. And you will have to come in here and spell out every talk group that you want available on your repeater here. Um, this is not like a, you're not becoming a Brandmeister server. You have a limited resource with a lot of people connecting to it. You don't want 78,000 connections going out. This is really mainly for connecting a group of repeaters together and being able to connect out to Brandmeister. Um, but not as all 14 repeaters having their own individual channel going out to go to a different Brandmeister talk group on the outside. It's not what it's for. So we'll go in here and I'm going to leave it as worldwide, but no, I'm going to, I'm going to change it to my local stuff like I did on mine. So right here, this is, this part right here is nothing but just a name, just to help you uh, know what you're looking at. So I'm going to call this one local. So we go down here. First things first, back in the last, in the uh, main configuration, you had master one and you had repeater one. So right here, we need to rename this to repeater one because it has to match. Okay, now my talk group locally is on time slot 2. I'm going to set that to time slot 2 coming and going. I'm going to change it to my talk group ID. That's our local talk group for our repeater and our bridge and everything else. It's active, true, yes. And if you read up above, it tells you about the timeout types and how long the timeout is. Uh, this is set to two minutes right now, but this is my local talk group, so I'm going to leave it on all the time. So I'm going to set the timeout type to none. And then we leave the rest as it is. Now, I'm just going to put in a couple of examples. Let's do um, Concord, which is another local DMR repeater. Remember to change your system name down here. I'm going to leave it on time slot 1 because it's outside of our group.
and that talk group is 310240. 310240. And the reason these talk group numbers look crazy for our local talk groups is that way those those talk groups are accessible from outside with a uh, hotspot. Um, if you do like a local two, that's not going to be routable, and you can't uh, you can't get to it um, from the outside. So we just use our repeater DMR ID number for our talk group. So I'm going to set this time out to 15 minutes, and we are going to turn the time out on. And then the next example is I'll just do USA. And remember, you have to change that to repeater dash one. We'll set the time out to 15 minutes. And that's that. Now, what you could do with these is remember master is what serves all of your hotspots and MMDVM repeaters, and the repeater side is what connects to Brandmeister. You could route from inside if you change this talk group number to 2. When you key up, talk group 2 on your local repeater. You could set that to 2 and have this to 310. I mean, that's just totally an example. But what would happen is when you keyed up, you would come in on your local 2 and go out on 3. You'd basically connect your local 2 to 310 on the outside. So you could have different talk group numbers mapped to outside talk group numbers. So that, that is a capability that you would have there. Okay, now let me say a little bit more about this. Uh, like I said before, you have to spell out each talk group that is available for your repeater. So I would choose wisely. I don't think you'd want to type in 7,000 talk, group, talk groups on here. Um, there are a lot of other products uh, in the uh, DV Switch group that probably makes this a whole lot more streamlined. Uh, it's not for my application what I'm doing. But to add more talk groups to this beyond the three listed here, if you notice here, you've got uh, this bracket here, and I'm probably using the wrong terms because I'm not a guru guy. I mean, I'm not a Linux guru guy. But uh, see how you have the name, and then you have that closing bracket there with the comma? If you add to this, notice how each one is separated by the name, then the bracket, then the close bracket, then the comma, then the name, bracket, close bracket, comma. If you want to add more to it, what you need to do is you would cut, well, if it doesn't light up the whole page, you would cut this section right here or copy it, add a comma there, paste it below and then keep pasting it down until you're finished adding all of them that you want and if you'll notice this entire I don't know if you call it a statement or whatever you call it but this entire area here is in, is encapsulated in these brackets here but if you notice between each set or each channel or each talk group or whatever you have the name, the bracket, the bracket, the comma. Name, bracket, bracket, and comma. Just make sure you follow that convention. Um, I don't, I don't know how to code. I don't know how to write code, but I do know that syntax is critically important, and indents are critically important. So just follow that convention to keep adding to it. And I guarantee you, if you get it wrong, it will let you know when you. Uh, <laughs> when you execute. So anyway, I just wanted to make sure to put that in there so that way you could keep adding talk groups as you go along.
Okay, that is everything we need in our rules. So we're going to go ahead and control X. Yes, we want to save it. And we are done with that aspect.